Hello, beautiful people of the interwebs. I'm back and happy to be so, of course. And we're just going to load up our last save here. Ooh, fire burns for a while after the target is hit, doing extra damage. And it is useful against all types of opponents. Which explains why Risha loves it so much. Oh, he left. I thought he was still there. The last. Oh, he went up there. To do more praying, no doubt. So yeah, uh, Risha has sat in front of this fire for a while. She's contemplated what she's been taught, what she's learned about herself. And um, basically she's decided that if the gods, Kenareth or Bagatosh or both of them or whatever, um, have given her this gift and have basically said, look, you know, you're this dragonborn. I made you this way on purpose. You've been through all this crap. Uh, in your life for a reason and now we you know we need you to do whatever um she probably needs to do it you know i don't think she feels that she can really um turn her back on her destiny if that's what this is oof really windy And what she's learned is basically that the, these powers that she has are, um, she's meant to use them. In fact, I should probably favorite them, now I think of it. She's meant to use them, uh, they said to try to hone, or Arngear told her to try to hone your voice, which means, you know, practice your shouts, get better at them, um, get the, probably try to get it so it's second nature, so. Uh, she feels like she can shout, you know, at a moment's notice whenever she needs to. But always do it with the understanding that it's a gift of the gods and you're... Essentially, you're, you're working for them. You're glorifying the divines who have blessed you. And, uh, and don't... Don't use it, you know, basically to be selfish and, and don't become, um... Too egotistical about it. I, I sort of got out of uh, what they're saying about Red Mountain and the Nords. I'm not sure what battle that was. I guess I haven't read the right book yet, or she hasn't read the right book yet. Um, I sort of got the impression that the Nords went into battle and they used uh, the shouts that they knew to try to win, I guess a war of aggression is, is what it sounded like to me. Um, just trying to dominate others because they had had this power but not not like evil people or anything just trying to um, take over I guess was the impression that I was getting so she needs to uh, to not do that you know use wow the wind is bad huh You know, use her gift to, to do good and uh, to try to do what Akatosh and or Kinnereth probably would want of her. And she's already a good person, so she's got that going for her. Man, it is mountain country. See all the clouds moving, the weather? I wanted to come down this way again. Um, well, not that there's another way down other than fast traveling, but uh, just to see if we could get a better, better view since it was nighttime when she came up. And I think I think Risha could use the time to continue to uh, mull over what she's learned and what she should do and and what. What is using her voice uh, for the glory and worship of the gods, and what is not? Even while understanding she's supposed to, you know, use it and practice it. So it's just a matter of, like, just don't be evil. Don't be evil. Isn't that... Isn't that like a 
Google thing, or it used to be, back before they became evil. She is tripping a lot on these steps. <laughs> I think she's really tired, and she just keeps tripping over them. And also, she's lost in thought, so it's a good thing she killed all the, uh, the wolves on her way up. So she doesn't have to deal with them on the way down. Speaking of which, hello, Wolfie. My goodness. I think that the weather is even worse going down than it was coming up. Almost no visibility. Hello, goat. I don't know what you're eating. <laughs> it's like there's nothing to eat. This is terrible. I'm just chewing on snow. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, and you're shy. So, uh, we'll see about getting the horse back. See if that continues to cause loading issues. And if it does, she'll probably just uh, leave the horse at the stable in White Run and go about her business. Very expensive, very short ride. But uh, did not realize I was going to have problems. I wasn't sure what that was for a second, but it's just another goat. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, joy. I thought I was closer to the bottom than I am. <sighs> Must be nice to get all out of all that horrible weather. I don't know. We actually haven't had snow here where I am for almost an entire day now. Very exciting. I have a heater on right here, pointed right at me, that you might be able to hear actually in the microphone, but I'm freezing, so that's just too bad. And I literally have a hot water bottle under my feet on the floor because I'm so cold. And now it's pouring rain, so that's great. can't get away from the bad weather no matter what she does or where she goes. There's a cave over here. There would be a place to lay down. I it looks like a dead bear. Dead bear and a dead person. Bear is breathing. Bear is asleep. Those another dead person. I guess you're sleepy from uh, killing these guys, huh? And he doesn't have any problem with me because I have voice of the sky. Or he's just deaf. All right, bats. I don't think they should be out. I think they still feel like a uh, light out for them. Nice bloody cave. Probably is not anywhere to sleep in here. <laughs> Scare me for a second. I don't know when it's gonna wear off. 
missing. I'll ever be able to get to a bar, so. Oh, can't you find a comfy place to sleep? Me either, buddy. Sounds like you're in a bad mood. Probably get out of here before that wears off. I didn't check to see how long I had. Oh my goodness, the rain. He's still asleep. My god, that fight was exhausting. I ate two whole people, I can barely move. Nord is so filling. Oh my goodness, this is a deluge. Seriously? Go inside. Why is everybody still out here working? The Imperials think we need their laws. Y'all right out here, horsey? I think he was just yawning. Mm. Rain is boring. I know, I bet you wish there was a nice dry stable. I'm gonna go in here. Jeez. I'm trying to dry out Welcome a little bit. Welcome to the Villamir Inn. If there's anything I can get you, just let me know. Thanks. Give me some dry clothes, man. Alright, fair warning everybody. I'm taking off my hood, and I'm kind of creepy looking. Just... Don't be scared. I am not dangerous. I warm myself by the fire here a little bit. I think you should continue with your performances. What's the point? I'm not very good, and it's only for the same few people every night. I'm I new. I think you play beautifully. It would be a shame if you stopped. All right, <clears throat> Wilhelm. I suppose it's the least I can do for you. Bard who doesn't really want to be a bard? Maybe just bored with it. Hey, you know, while you're Have cleaning you up, to fast you might want to. Me, my lady. Yeah. Would you care to hear me play my lute? Sure. Away from here if you fancy a bit of music, let me know. Yeah, what do you play? Well, you play the lute, right? I play the lute. Right. Right. If you'd like to hear something, it only costs five gold. Perhaps one day, but not do you know that in other places they actually just play for free? That's it's cheap. Maybe you're worth paying for, right? You must have professional training. Thank you, milady. It's pretty nice. Well, that was easily really? worth five gold. Mind taking care Do you of the want a drink? Please? Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, what, what do you got? Depends. Are you thirsty, hungry, both? Um, I don't know. 
A sweet roll! Hey! I guess that that sweet roll thief hasn't made it to uh, Iverstead, huh? Thanks. Uh, I think that's that's it. Just a little snack. Thank you. No problem. How are you? You don't look like a pilgrim. Why bother visiting Iverstead? Uh, it was raining outside. <sighs> what a boring conversation. No, I, I agree. I didn't really have anything to add. Sorry. Oh, a detail of the hay roof. All the individual little pieces. It's really nice. Hmm. What do you want? I wanted to stop raining so I can move on, but I guess I should probably um, have a nap. If I were you, I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. A haunted barrow? There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Is it one no, barrow or more I've than seen one? one of the spirits with my very own eyes. When it glared at me, I swear it burned right through my soul. Uh, are they likely to come into town? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Certainly isn't helping my business any. Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? Maybe not make it the first thing you mention when somebody comes into your establishment and wants to get a room. Like, keep it under wraps. This is what they do in all the ghost movies. Um, yeah, I could go check that out for you if you want. I'm not really that scared of ghosts, really. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. Yeah, um, let me just take a quick nap. Um, and when I wake up, I might ask you some more questions. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thanks. Been up all night again. I'll show you to your room. Right. Contemplating. This way. I mean, if I'm gonna go investigate a haunted barrel, I should probably go at night, right? Let me know if there's anything else you need. Get out of my room. Would be the other thing that I, I need. I think I saw it again. That ghost. It was over by the barrows. That thing's evil, Lindley. So there's more than one. I told you to keep away from there. I'm sorry. I was curious. I didn't believe the stories. I won't go over there ever again. See that you don't. I promise to keep you safe, and I'm not going to break my word. Yeah, you guys go talk about that somewhere else. It's like it's a barrow, and then it's barrows, then it's a barrow, then it's barrows. Now it's just like some bad editing, <laughs> or what? Um, but she could probably use a nap. Even though it's the middle of the day, it's probably hard to sleep. Uh, she has been up a lot. So. Keep an eye out for wolves if you're headed up the path to High Hrothgar. Did you come all the way over here to tell me that? Pardon me, my lady. Would you care to hear me play my lute? Uh, no, I'm gonna be going soon. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. No, I'm here to ask about the barrow. Need a room? S Maybe a drink? You name it. Okay. We just... Never mind. Um... Has anybody else ever explored that barrow I'm gonna go check out for you? About a year or two ago... The barrows. Some fella named Windelius came through. Windelius. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. I warned him not to go in there. Just like I warned you. So it did a lot of good. Last night we heard screams from the barrow, and that was it. We never saw him again. Wow. All right. Well, I'll try to be careful. If you pass through again, stop by for a drink. Okay. These damn bears are driving me crazy. Yes. Wow. Seems like it is a short drive, lady. I hate to follow her out. 
I'll talk to you. Those bears are making Miss Timber so angry. I know, we right? We can do something about them. I'm not gonna do anything about it. That lady's nuts. Hello, my friend. What can I do for you on such a fine day? Well, you seem happy. Is it to stop raining outside or something? My father taught me an important lesson many years ago. He said, Gwilin, you have the whole world before you. Go out and experience it. Be whatever you want to be. Yeah. So I took his advice, and here I am. This life might not look like much to you, but I'm content. I don't know what your life is. Isn't like. that all that matters? Yeah. This is all that matters, actually. Alright, well, um, nice talking to you. Have yourself a great day. I hope so. I'm hoping not you to get like, look like eaten a by a ghost. Why bother visiting Ivorstead? I think I figured out why your conversations are boring, man. They all start the same way. So we'll go check that out. Um as a oh come on with the rain. Well at least the barrows are inside, right? And now I'm confused. I don't know whether it's a barrow or it's barrows. The Imperials think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. Hmm. You guys really have a problem with the Imperials in this town. You okay over there, horsey? I don't think you're gonna be much use in a barrow. Shroud, hearth, barrel. Well, all right. Well, we start off with the bones of a dead person. That's great. More bones. More bones. All right. So I guess the barrow used to be a crypt of some sort. And none of them are searchable. Alright, well, let's go in there and check it out. Don't really know how to fight a ghost. Um, I'll just try shooting fire at it and see if that does anything. Is that one of them Traegers? Is it alive? Well, when I say alive. 